the 2017 Audi TTS Coupe. This is one of those cars that has a design that either you're absolutely going to love or, well, you're probably not going to love so much. I'm Jay and welcome to the latest episode of Carbuzz Unboxing Reviews and before I get started I want to thank Audi of Sacramento which is part of the Nilo company for letting Carbuzz come on down and film this car for you today. So let's get started. Now, the Audi TT, this is a car that I'm sure most of you are familiar with. There's a lot of them out there. In fact, the car you're looking at, this is the third generation, the TTS, meaning it's a little more powerful than the base TT. But the original TT came out in 1998, 1999, I believe, and immediately it was just, it was cool. And the reason why was because it was different. It had that, that sort of avant-garde styling and people just really took to it. Now, that was also at the same time when Volkswagen released its new Beetle with that sort of bubbly look to it. And I know there were a lot of comparisons to the to the original TT and to the new Beetle, but the TT is a, a very different car, mainly because it has Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive. Then the second generation TT came out a few years later, and its styling wasn't quite as cool as the first generation. But in 2015, the third generation debuted, and I really like what I see from the outside. And I'll talk more about the exterior in a few minutes, but uh, let's start talking about uh, what you find inside. Now, Audi calls this interior color rotary gray. It's all leather with Alcantara trim. In fact, it's Napa leather. And that S embossing on the headrest there costs an extra $500. And when I talk about some of the extra features in this car, just like with every German brand, the extra packages and the features just, they, they add up the price so, so fast. I mean, it's almost impossible to find a base model of any Audi, Mercedes, or BMW out there, kind of like what you see advertised on TV, because you're going to want that technology package, etc., etc. That's probably going to be an extra two grand right there. But back to this interior here, what I do like about these leather seats is, is that diamond quilting, the diamond pattern, I think that's a nice little touch. And just like with any Audi interior, I recently did an unboxing video of the new A4, I raved about the quality there, and Audi, it, it just, they build the benchmark, the gold standard for interiors in the business. Everything is high quality. There's no cheap plastics, it's all soft touch plastics and metal, and yes, the, that is a rear seat you're looking at. The TT is a 2 plus 2, 2 in the front, 2 in the rear. Those rear seats uh, fold down 50-50, and they're kind of like the Porsche 911s. They're almost useless for adults. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. Also take note that that steering wheel, it's leather wrapped, it's heated, and it has a flat bottom too, which is really cool. But take a look at this interior. now. It's a very simple design, and I like that. And again, everything here, the materials, that's all brushed aluminum, soft-touch plastics. Everywhere you, 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 know, you place your hand, you feel the quality. And we've come to expect nothing less from Audi over the years. And what's also cool with this interior, it has LED lighting. As I already mentioned, Alcantara, 12-way power adjustable seats. And it also comes with the technology package, which is an extra $3,000 upgraded navigation system, Audi Connect with online services. It has a six-month subscription, Audi Side Assist, Parking System Plus, and Audi Smartphone Interface. Yeah, and I like that rear spoiler, how that deploys right like that. And this is the automatic climate control system. And I like it how you can control it in the, those little center buttons just inside the, uh, the, the air conditioning vents. That's such a cool touch. Whoever thought about that at Audi, that is just, that's smart right there. And I like that. And that rotary dial you see right there in the center console, just like in so many cars today, it controls this infotainment system. This is a large 12.3 inch LCD screen. It's right in front of the driver and it's literally the same system that is in the Audi A4 today and I really like it. The quality of the, of the pixels is just fantastic. Controls everything, navigation, radio, Bluetooth, you name it. 
in some ways, I think it can almost be a little distracting just because it's so cool to look at. But what's really convenient is when you have that navigation right in front of you when you're the driver, you can just look down very slightly. You really don't even have to take your eyes off the road to see where you're going. And I expect more basic cars such as Ford, Chevrolets to have stuff like this right in front of the driver in the future as opposed to everything being on the center dash. And yeah, you see one cup, uh, cup holder right there, but there is a second one. It's a little hidden, and there it is. Every car these days has to have a pair of cup holders. Even a Mazda MX-5 Miata, I did a review on that. Mazda found a place to put them. So let's talk safety here. Now, every single Audi, just like every single new car today, there's very strict government regulations that they have to abide by in order for the car to be road illegal. And safety, basically, this has driver and front passenger dual stage airbags, front thorax side airbags, knee airbags, head curtain airbags, a tire pressure monitoring system, ABS brakes, and of course, electronic stability control. So some of you might also be wondering, where does the name TT come from? They just didn't make it up entirely. But supposedly the name comes from the British Isle of Man TT, TT as in tourist trophy, motorcycle race. And also it can be for technology and tradition. A little fact that I think you might like there. As far as the driver's position goes, Look, when you have 12-way power adjustable seats, literally any human being should be able to find a comfortable seating position, uh, even if you go all the way back, all the way forward. And I think that's really nice. Audi has a, a, a lot of experience in motorsports, so they, they take a lot of that feedback from the racetrack and they put it into their road cars, and you see a lot of that in the TTS coupe right here. And, of course, you can get the TTS as a roadster, basically a convertible, but I like the coupe just because it has that... That, that TT look, especially the side silhouette with that roof, I think it's unique looking. What's also kind of interesting is that Audi is currently really considering expanding the TT lineup using the same platform and turning in this car basically into a crossover. In fact, they even built a concept called the TTQ and it could enter production in the next couple of years. And it may want a crossover because Look how tiny these rear seats are. For a couple children, maybe, but for a full-size human being, no way. Again, they fold down 50-50 for increased cargo space. And this I like here, this rear hatch. Now, my recent unboxing review of the Scion FRS, that car, like its uh, Subaru BRZ Twin, has a conventional trunk, and I mentioned having a rear hatch would have made it even better styling wise and just convenience for the owner because it's just easier to get to the cargo area. And the TTS Coupe has decent cargo space, especially when you fold the rear seats flat. In fact, I think most drivers are going to keep them folded flat a good chunk of the time if they're hauling stuff around. And yeah, this car swallows decent, decent storage space. It's uh it's good for long road, uh, long road trips. And that's what I like about the TTS. You can really use it as a daily driver. You can... Uh, look, if you want to take it to the track, I guess... the. Th the thing is, is that this is all-wheel drive Quattro. It's Audi's all-wheel drive system. If you really want to have a good, good track car, well, the, the Nissan GTR is all-wheel drive, but that's a little different. Better track cars, you're going to have the Porsche 718 Cayman or even the BMW M2. But let's talk about this engine because this is, I, I, I got some criticisms here. This is a two liter turbocharged inline four with 292, not 292, excuse me, horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. And it's paired to a six speed dual clutch transmission. And of course it sends all the power to all four wheels. Now this is 72 more horsepower and 22 more pound feet of torque more than the standard TT. 
But in my opinion, I look, the dual clutch in this is great, but I think a six-speed manual would make this car even better. You could really flog it around that way, and as of now, at least in the United States, there is going to be no manual option. And, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a good engine sound, but performance 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds, which is actually, actually a full second faster than the base TT. And you'll do the quarter mile in 12.8 seconds at 108 miles per hour. Top speed is electronically limited to 155 miles per hour. Fuel economy, 23 miles per gallon in the city, 27 on the highway, and a combined 25. And that's really not bad for a car that weighs around 3,000 pounds. And to put in perspective, a Mazda MX-5 Miata weighs around 2,200 pounds. So, yeah, adding all-wheel drive and several other things makes this car a bit heavier, yes. Now, what is my criticism with this 2-liter turbocharged inline-4? Look, it, I don't have a problem with the engine itself. It's a fantastic engine. I'm just not so sure it's the best engine for this particular car. Here's my reason is that it, that is the exact same engine you can get in the Audi S3 sedan and the Volkswagen Golf R. It's, in fact, it's the same engine and the same six-speed dual clutch, even though in the Golf R you can get a six-speed manual. Now, the Audi S3 it has a starting price of $42,500, and the VW Golf R has a base price of just under $40,000. But the Audi TTS Coupe has a base price of $52,500. And once you add in all those features, like I mentioned, the $3,000 technology package, the $500 embossing S on the, uh, uh, the headrest there, all told, this car costs just under $60,000. And yeah, you're getting the Audi TTS with that kind of that cool styling. Again, either you're going to like it or you're not. But again, for a car like this, it should have a better engine. I mean, the Audi S3 sedan, great car. You're getting a sedan. It's m m better to use on a daily basis. It's just more space. Same engine, same transmission. But Audi has sort of resolved this problem already, but you're going to have to pay for it. And the ant and the, the the answer is the Audi TT RS, the next generation one. It is powered by a 2.5 liter turbo engine with 400 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque. In fact, it will go from zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds, and that's faster than the previous Audi R8 with a manual. So if you want a really, really fast TT, go for the TT RS. Downside, it's going to probably cost around $70,000. Now, Audi hasn't uh, released official pricing for the new TT RS yet, but based on what we know from the previous TT RS and the competition, such as the 718 Cayman S and as well as the BMW M2, yeah, in order for Audi to make a profit, the new TT RS is going to have to go for serious, serious money. But I do like this TTS Coupe here. I really do like its styling. Some don't. Some are just not so sure about it. But it's, it is a good blend of the first and second generations, and it is a little more angular. It's got those nice 20-inch wheels with the 10Y-spoke uh, uh, alloy rims. It's also wearing some, uh, some summer tires, disc brakes, full LED lights. And the, the TTS Coupe comes standard with 19-inch Audi Sport 5-spoke wheels. So... Yeah, if you want to go for the upgraded wheels, again, it's going to cost you. But if you're going to spend $60,000 for a TTS Coupe, consider spending an extra 10, maybe 15 grand more for the TTRS. Then you're going to get the real power with an even better engine. Now, how does this drive? Well, you got to know something that this has Audi's magnetic ride suspension with launch control and magnetic ride. It is a different version, although very similar to the magnetic ride control you get in the new Chevrolet Camaro and the eight Cadillac ATS-V Coupe that I both did uh, unboxing reviews of, and it is an absolutely fantastic suspension. So there's a lot of good things going for the TTS Coupe you see here. 
It just needs a better engine, and my personal choice, a six-speed manual. So everybody, I'm out of time for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions for me about the Audi TTS Coupe, leave them for me in the comment section below. Any suggestions for future unboxing reviews, please also leave those in the comment section. And be sure to subscri subscribe to the Carbus Unboxing YouTube channel. So I'll see you all next time.